During this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create and host a simple question and answer bot on Azure. I'll also use a great free Microsoft tool called Q&A Maker to take an existing web-based FAQ and import its contents into my bot. I'll also use the Microsoft Bot Framework to enable the bot for Teams. The first thing I'll do is to use the Azure Bot service to run through the bot creation process. I give the bot a name and in this instance I'll pin it to my Azure dashboard. Azure then takes over and starts to deploy the bot. When the initial deployment task is completed, I'm presented with a number of bot templates. As this is a Q&A bot, I'll choose the question and answer template and move on. Before I create my bot's application ID, I'll switch to the Q&A Maker tool to create the content for my bot. I currently don't have any services running, so I will need to create one. I'd recommend giving the service a meaningful name. So as this is an Office 365 Q&A bot, I'll use 365 Help, which is the same name I gave to the bot in Azure. I then navigate to the website of the FAQ I want to use to ensure the content is appropriate. I then copy the URL and paste it into the Q&A Maker tool. After I create the service, all I need to do is to publish it so it's available for use within Azure. The next step is to create my bot's application ID. I copy this and paste it into the Azure Bot registration page. I then go back and create the application password, which I need to complete the bot authentication process. So I copy the password and I paste it in the registration page. After agreeing the service terms, I can now complete the creation of my bot. When the Q&A pop-up appears, I'll select the 365 help service that I previously created and published. This now links my Q&A content with my Azure hosted bot. After pressing OK, the bot is provisioned. After the bot provisioning process completes, the next step is to enable the Microsoft Teams channel in the bot framework. The resulting web page lets me know that Teams has been provisioned and also directs me to more information on how I can publish my bot to the Office Store. The final step is to quickly test my bot. To do this, I navigate to the settings page and select my bot's application ID and copy it. Then I switch to Microsoft Teams. For testing purposes, I can access my bot by creating a conversation using the application ID. I'm then able to start asking questions. So let's ask about the availability of mobile applications in Office 365. Excellent. I received the correct answer. In this video, I've shown that even without any coding skills, I can create a useful Q&A bot in Azure and publish it into Microsoft Teams within under five minutes.